Welcome back to the Green Beauty Collective. Today's video is all about five different brushes that can help make doing makeup a lot easier. The first brush is a flat top foundation brush and this one that we're using in this video today is from Alate. It is the multi-use brush and we're going to use this to apply our foundation. You can see that this brush is quite dense and flat and we use this to buff the foundation right into the skin. So this can be used for liquid foundation to give a really nice flawless almost airbrushed look. And don't be afraid of getting liquid foundation on this brush. Typically people look at this brush and would think it was for powder, but it actually works really awesome for liquid foundation and it can be cleaned right out. So I'm using this brush now with a pressed powder foundation to set the liquid foundation and give this look a bit more coverage. Portia is a performer and dancer, so she likes flawless skin on stage. The next brush that we want to talk about is something like a blush or contour brush and this brush in particular is quite fluffy but it has a bit of a tapered edge to it and this allows us to concentrate color like blush or bronzer in specific areas. The brush that we're using in this video is the Alate Cheek and Contour Brush. Next up is the brow and liner brush with the attached spoolie and a lot of people don't really know what to do with this tool when they get it and it is for pushing up your brows so right now we're just cleaning off any foundation that's been left on Porsche's brows and now we're going to use the angle side and we're going to fill in her brows and just give them a bit more definition with our Elate Brow Balm. We also love using the spoolie after we've filled in the brows to soften up the look and make it look a little bit more natural. going to move into eye color and the first brush is just a very simple eyeshadow brush to help place and pack on the color so as you can see in this video I'm just placing some colors on Portia's eyes I'll use a different brush a little bit later in the video to blend out the color especially when I'm transitioning two colors together but right now I'm just focusing on pressing that color into the lid we also really like to use this brush for applying concealer under the eyes and on blemishes, so it can be a two-in-one brush. And this is where our blend and illuminate brush from Alate comes in because we are going to use a second transition color and just blend it right over top that last color and right into the crease. If you use eyeshadow, we can't stress enough how important a blending brush is for your eyeshadow application. And here we go again with our angle brush. We are going to use this with the Evelyn Iona Black Gel Liner and create a really nice cat eye wing on Portia. So we're just tracing the line from the angle of her bottom lashes and then pulling it right in to the corner of the eye. This angle brush allows for us to make really small strokes so if you are a beginner at this type of technique you can notice how we're just making little tiny strokes to blend right into that lash line you definitely don't have to do one straight line right across it can be done in two minutes or ten minutes Next up is mascara and we thought we would quickly go through the mascara technique. So right now what I'm doing is I'm pressing the mascara wand right into the base of the lash. So that's why you can really see me pushing and pulling. And I'm also using a nice rolling technique. 
Here what I'm doing is I'm painting the top of the lashes where eyeshadow has fallen. This is especially important for those of you who have blonde lashes. You want to paint the top. But getting as close to the lashes, the root of the lashes as possible, is key when you're putting on your mascara. And finally we're going to finish off with some lip color and you can use an eyeshadow brush for this the same brush that I was talking about using a concealer for in this video I didn't just because my brush was dirty and I didn't want to put that on Portia's lips but you can use that brush to do this or an angled brush if you prefer and because Portia is always on the stage, we thought we would finish up this look by adding a beautiful pair of lashes on her eyes to tie it all together. The lashes that we're using on Portia are from Baddington Lashes and they are cruelty free. We know that lashes are not easy to put on yourself and they're not always for everyday wear so this is definitely an optional step but if you are putting them on yourself we always find it's easiest if you look down rather than closing completely and once the lashes are on we want to complete the liner look because we didn't do the liner all the way to the inner corner so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the inner corner with the band of the lash and we're using that Evelyn Iona black gel liner to do so thanks for sticking around for the final look if you are interested in purchasing cruelty free and vegan makeup brushes you can hop right onto to the greenbeautycollective.com all of the brushes are in the description bar below